hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is precious and you are absolutely welcome to the brand new month of april Happy new months to you guys. Say happy new months. Happy new months. And today on the channel, we have a guest, and I'll let her introduce herself to you guys. So, hi, I'm Favor. Her name is Favor, and she's my friend. She's an amazing young girl, and she's joining us for today's Bible study session. So, um, before we get started, before we get started with the new months, let's just first of all dedicate it into the hands of God, thank Him for ushering us into the new month, and just ask Him to take control of this new month, okay? So we'll start with praise and worship, and favor will lead us in the praise. So, oh yeah. We lift your name higher, we lift your name higher, we lift your name higher, we lift your name higher. Shout hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, twa kachine kamiha, agidi ba o, agidi ba o, twa kachine kamiha. Agidi ba o, praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart always. Hallelujah, the Lord is good. Hallelujah, the Lord is good. Hallelujah, the Lord is good. He's good to me. Oh, we are so grateful and happy that God ushered us into this new month. And we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us life up until this point. We are so grateful and we love you, God. So, um, we had to change our position because of the sun rays. But anyways, Favor is going to be doing today's Bible study session with you guys. Yes, she wants to share her favorite story in the Bible with you. She will tell you where the story is in the Bible, if she can remember. And she will tell you how the story goes. And then she will tell you what she learns from the story. Okay? So, Favor, over to you. What is your favorite story in the Bible? My favorite story is... Be audible. You have to be audible. Shout. My favorite story in the Bible is the prodigal son. Okay. Do you know where it is in the Bible? Yes. Where is it? It is seen in Luke chapter 11, verse 15 to 32. All right. So, what is the story of the prodigal son? The Tell us the story. So that we will know whether we will like it just, just like you like it. Tell us how the story goes. So... The story goes like this. There was a man who had two sons, the older and the younger son. Mm -hmm. So the younger son came out to his father with greediness and asked his father for his own share of the money. So the father said, okay, without any anger on his face. Mm -hmm. So the elder son also came out to ask for his own money. The older son did not ask for his own money. It was only the younger that asked, so just continue. So, his father said, okay, he now gave him his own money. He now traveled out and spent all the money. He didn't have any money left. He didn't have any other friends. So, the only he didn't have any money to pay for his food. So, the only thing he ate was the remaining food from the pigs. So he kept on eating it until he said that he had enough. So he thought of an idea to go back to his father and beg him for him to be a servant in his house. So his father said no, that he's not. His father said that even though you went out and spent all your money, and I'm still your father, that I still love you, and I'll still take you back, and I'm not going to allow you to be a servant in your own house. So... The father forgive, forgive, forgive him, forgive, forgive. forgive him, and he threw a big party for him. So what I learned is, no matter how far you go and spend all the gifts you've been giving, mm -hmm. and you feel like your father won't forgive you, you have to go and beg for forgiveness. He will still take you back, no matter for how far you've done, how bad you've done for 
everything no matter how how much wrong you've committed your father will still forgive you mm -hmm. so what i learned is you should not be afraid to go back to your father to ask for forgiveness he will still forgive you no matter how wrong you've done okay that's amazing your story is amazing you said the story very well after the guy lavished all his money after the younger son lavished all his money he had no other friends that means his friends only came for when he had money he only had friends when he, when he had money when he was spending money people were coming around him but once his money finished nobody could even give him food to eat nobody could even help him nobody could even take him in so he had to go and start working in the farm and start eating pigs food that's another thing that you should learn from that story that <laughs> now only when you guess nine people know you it's only when you are rich that people are your friends it's, a rich man has many friends but a poor man does not have any friends so when you have money Use your sense, have sense. Only like spend on people that matter. Spend your money on things that matter. Um, enjoy with people that suffer with you. Do you get? Don't spend your money on people that don't care. Because at the end of the day, when your money finishes, they will leave you alone. They don't care about you. They care about your money. Okay. So always have sense. When you feel like you have been blessed by God, when you feel like you have many a lot of money, always use it to do things that will please God. Because just in case your money finishes, you know that God will always be there for you because you use, his, you use your money to serve God and God will always come true for you. Do you understand? So whenever you have money, don't lavish it. Use it to do meaningful and reasonable things, okay? Also, in the same way that you said, if you have wronged your father and you come back, your father will always forgive you. That's the same way that God will forgive you. If you sin, no matter how much you sin, no matter how bad you feel you are, no matter how much sin you've committed, once you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior and you confess your sins, God will always be faithful and just to forgive you. He will turn you a new leaf. He will wash away all your sins. All things will pass away and you become a brand new creature and you become a child of God and you enjoy all the benefits of being a child of God. So always make sure that you, should, you apologize for your sins and ask for forgiveness whenever you sin. And also don't take that forgiveness for granted. Not when God forgive you today, tomorrow you're going to do the same thing. Don't take God's grace for granted. Don't take God's forgiveness for granted. If you ask forgiveness for one sin, forfeit it and don't go back to that sin again. Okay? Yeah. So guys, that's basically that's basically everything for today's um, Bible study session. We'll just say a few we'll just sing a few songs of worship and then we'll pray for for the um, for the new month. So you're going to pray, okay? But let's sing songs of worship. Thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for this new month we have entered. Father, please continue to guide us and keep us safe. Amen. Father, continue to bless us. Father, Amen. no matter how we spend all the gifts you've given us, Father, we still come back to you. Father, we will still come back to you and beg for your forgiveness. Father, continue to provide and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. No harm shall overcome us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we shall be Christian, we shall be your children, and we shall never be people who take forgiveness for granted in Jesus' name. Amen. We shall always Yes, we shall always take you as our personal savior. We shall not lack of disrespect in Jesus' name. Amen. And I think for sure our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we want to ask God that there's no way we have sinned against you, no way knowing that you please forgive us and take us through this new month. Our, our journeys are covered with we ask for safe journeys this new month, wherever we're going to travel. We ask for provision. We ask for protection. We ask for sense. We ask for intelligence for our schoolwork. We ask that this strike will be called off if it has not already been called off. And we want to ask God that you please just take total charge and control over this month. This month will bring us many blessings. This month will bring us many miracles and testimonies. And we want to pray for those who are looking for children, those who are seeking for the fruit of the womb. Please bless them. For the pregnant women, please give them safe delivery. For those in the prison that are, have been unjustly accused, please give them justice and just perfect your will in this new month all to your glory in jesus name we pray amen, amen. 
thank you so much for joining us for today's bible study please do well to subscribe so that we can start up subsequent months with jesus christ just as we have done today okay see you next time for see you by this time next month for another bible session bible study session okay until then take care of yourself we love you bye, bye.